What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. We got ourselves an unburdened weakness policy skeptile team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, the support has been unreal. Thank you to everybody who likes up the videos, everyone who subscribes to the channel, and everyone who just tunes in to watch the video. It really does go a long way. But this team right here was made by my boy Andrew. Andrew, thank you once again for making another team for me. I really do appreciate it. But rocking it in our front spot, we got the main Pokemon here. Skeptile, Unburdened, and that weakness policy. That is a dangerous little combo there. We got Energy Ball and Giga Drain, both for stab, grass moves, detect to work as protect and dragon poles as our nice little coverage move right next to him is going to be skeptile's little buddy right here we got our manitan choice scarf over here and we have flamethrower on it to actually trigger that weakness policy and unburden ability this thing also has icicle crash eq u-turn and then like i said we already got flamethrower on it right behind my face cam we got the one and only incinerator with that intimidate a guava bet and the guava berry but normal move set for this thing this thing absolutely rocks out snarl on the drop special attack foyer blitz over here parting shot and fake out right next to it we got grimstar and this is an attacking grimstar right here with pranksters and leftovers spirit break bulk up rest and sleep talk i really do like this move set and hopefully we can show it off in today's video right below we got whimsicott over here and a lovely little move set on this whimsicott normal stuff over here whimsicott's an absolute beast everybody knows it's a great support mod it has the prankster and the focus sash with trick room taunt tailwind and moonblast and then in the final spot we got ourselves an ultra beast we got yuksha tree over here with beast boost ability and choice specs it is only electric type this thing is so strong it has thunderbolt electric web energy ball for coverage and volt switch guys you want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's try to get some wins with this weakness policy skeptile team First battle coming at you guys, and this guy's rocking out with no new Crown Tundra Pokemon. Like, what are you doing? Why are you playing if you have no new Crown Tundra Pokemon? But it's all good. We're going to rock out with our Skeptile combo right off the rip here. I feel like we got to show it off. Skeptile is actually one of my favorite Pokemon, so I am actually very excited to actually be playing with him right now. So we're going to go Skeptile here, and I think Darmanitan is a safe little go-to here. Skeptile, Darmanitan, trigger that weakness policy, unburdened, and roll from there. Skeptile's uh, special attacking, right? Let me, let me make sure so that Intimidate won't really do much to him. Look at this thing shiny. Look at all spiffy, baby. Look at that special tag. Got some defense and HP in him. He doesn't need too much speak because of the unburdened ability. And he's already sitting at 140, so that is just dandy. Um, we got Darmantan? Yeah, I think we got to lead Darmantan. But then still, that Intimidate over here could be a little scary. But I still think either way we get this off. Hmm, let's go here. I'm going to bring my Incineroar and Yuxa Tree. I think Yuxa Tree can rock out here. Actually, do we bring Yuxa Tree? He has a rock Pokemon. I see that. Um, hmm. Could bring Grimstarl. Grimstarl could be very, very nice. I actually might want to protect the uh, Skeptile first. No, we're going to bring Yusha Tree here. I feel, I feel like he can come in clutch. I feel like he can come in clutch. Even though he can't really do too, too much right here, I feel like he's still going to be able to come up big and all that stuff. But I really just want to show off Skeptile and Yusha Tree in the first battle. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head on the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We're streaming three plus days every single week. So, so go hit that follow button down there. Turn on your notifications so you know when I go live. We're doing ranked battles. We're completing Crown Hunter, catching Pokemon, doing all that different stuff, and playing other games as well. But well, this guy goes Luxray and Dragapult. First little turn. What you want, fool? So he has no fake out user. He did not go into Incineroar, which is huge. Is this thing intimidated? It could be. Or it's Guts. It's going to be Guts. Okay, so Guts Luxray over here. Um... I'm definitely going to Dynamax, and I think we're just going to get after this right here. There's no way this thing drops down. I'm just going to Flamethrower over onto this side. Trigger all that stuff. And I don't think this thing is going to drop for a Phantom Force. I really don't think that's going to happen. But we're going to Dynamax here. Get rolling here. He's not Dynamaxing, so he could be fan. If he Phantom Forces, I'm going to cry a little bit. Cheers, Mike. Come on. Actually, wait a minute. We should be fine, even if he does go for a Phantom Force. Because I think my Twitch Scarf, Darmanitan, will be able to outspeed it. So we'll shoot that flamethrower over there and then unburdened skeptile should be able to outspeed the dragon pole. So before he even gets off the phantom force, we should be able to dump on this thing and drop it. Yep, flamethrower coming out here. Yo, give me that. Give me that bad boy. Did we really just burn our own skeptile? Luckily he's special attacking. We we really just burned his own skeptile. We really just did this, but it's all good. Wormwind's coming out here. What you want, fool? What you want? Get out of my face. Get him out of here. Get gone. I'm sick of this game. <laughs> Skeptile coming up big, doing the dirty work here. We get the attack drop over on Luxray. He's definitely physical attacking, which is huge. But best part about putting the burn on this thing is that we are not physical attacking. Superpower's going to roll out. Go ahead and hit my Darmanitan. I really don't care. He's going to eat that one up all day. But the best part is that my Skeptile is chilling. I, I don't need my Darmanitan anymore. He already did his job. 
See up tile is going to take a little bit of burn damage, and this thing is going to trigger guts here. So we're going to double through on this thing. 100% double up on this thing. Going to drop my, uh, my grassy terrain. Throw a flamethrower on that side anyway. Then we're going to get rolling. Second rock is going to pop as well. Uh, which is totally fine. I think it's just a rock side is going to come through. And he might dynamax the luxury. But I got to get after it. He might protect, but I really want that luxury going. I really need that luxury going, so I'm just going to go after that. That thing just poses such a bigger threat than anything else. We're going to double through on this slot. Lycan Rock might protect. I don't see Lycan Rock Dynamaxing. I see Luxray more than anything because it, it's guts. It's ready to go. It's full blown. Let's see. Is it going to be Luxray? I think it's Luxray. Yeah, in the Luxury Ball. Gotta be him. Gotta be my dude. But we both got speed advantage. We're fine with this one. We're going to trigger the terrain. Oh no, Lycan Rock is going to get it. Okay. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We're grass type. And I'll outspeed next turn and just drop a, a Max Everworth. I'm cool with that. Give me your guard. He's not going to guard here. So Terrain's going to give us that 1.5 yet. That Lycan Rock, I'm not even worried about it one bit. I'm not even worried about it at all. Get the, get the Luxray out of here. Get the Luxray out of here. Hopefully we can put that burn on the Lycan Rock with this Flamethrower and we'll just be thriving. This first battle is going so well right now. I don't see Skeptile dropping to whatever Lycan Rock's got to just throw at me. This have tough balls, I know that. Here comes Flamethrower. Give me the burn. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Oh, we got it. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, dude. This team. This team's too good. Rock ball coming through. He's going to get weather advantage. Skeptile says, yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. Thank you so much. The burn does half that damage. We were eating it up anyway. And we're fine, yo. Like and Rock, we'll go down to one max overgrowth because we're plus two. We got the terrain rolling. Oh, my lord. This game is over. My boy Skeptile is so strong. Our burden Skeptile is going to be a force to be reckoned with. He is so strong. He is so good. Let's go, let's go. We still have Yuke Street in the back, which is gonna, he'll just be thriving. My boy's like two for two on burns with flamethrowers. <laughs> he, he's not playing around right now. But the shiny Skeptile, I like it. I like the little, the, the little mint tint of green on him. Just looks spiffy, looking good. Gardevoir's popping here. What you want, Gardevoir? I ain't playing around with you either. I'll just drop a flamethrower on you, but Overgrowth is 100% gonna take out this Lycan Rock. No problem whatsoever. And then we'll just drop the flamethrower because we are still truly scarfed into this. And I can't believe we might sweep this one. I hope we don't. Like, this seems too strong. <laughs> Overgrowth coming out. Lycan Rock is gone. I, I don't care. I don't care. It's out of here. This thing's mad damage right here. Dumping on things left and right. And now this Gardevoir wants to smoke. Now this Gardevoir wants it. <laughs> this is too much fun. This is too much fun. Let's get it. Darmanitan is going to drop a flamethrower. Can you please take on my Darmanitan? Like... My plan was to just like, are we going to get another burn? That would have been hilarious. But my plan was to just uh, have my Darmanitan go down and bring out like Yucha Tree or something. But like, my Darmanitan's surviving and we're going to get that clean sweep. No Pokemon lost this battle. We're thriving. We're chilling. I can see him canceling out this battle right now. But Dynamax turns over. We're still going to dump. We're still going to dump on this Gardevoir with a 1.5 times multiplier from the uh, grassy terrain. We got our stab damage as well. We got our plus two. We're just thriving out here. Just too good. I used to love uh, Unburdened uh, Driftblim teams. They were very, very fun. They were very, very fun. Is there a Pokemon that can, like, set the grassy terrain and take off the weakness policy and Unburdened Skeptile that I can pair up with them? That would be pretty dope. Energy Ball fires right here. I wish I knew for an Energy Ball. Say, yo, get out of my face. Double up in this thing. That should be game. That should be game, and we should be sitting clean. Going 1 0 here. Did we miss? Oh, I thought we missed. Full Energy Ball KO? It does not. This thing's special defense little tanky over here so it's actually gonna survive a turn and get the burn that thing's eating that up no problem but moon blast coming out here our man tam will go down we do not get the clean we do not get the clean i'll bring out my boy yuki tree just to show him off just to have him come out in the battle might protect skeptile and just just get after him nah skeptile's gonna pick up the ko this is his game this is his game he owns this battle can't believe this dude didn't leave like i would have left by now i would have left after my like uh if i knew that uh the unburdened and all that's triggered. I've been like, alright, it's over with. After my Dragon Ball went down, <laughs> this GG. If this was like, if I was, this was, if this was ranked battles, I would have went into my Incineroar, faked out, and made sure I would have picked up the KOs. But I just want to get my boy out here, Mister Mister Guy over here, <laughs> Mister Electric dude. But Energy Ball is gonna pop, and then I'm just going to drop a nice little T bolt, just in case we miss. Just in case we miss. Get that Energy Ball rolling, and that's GG. Yo, Skeptile, did he kill everything? I think Skeptile killed absolutely everything. Dumped on Dragonfolt, dumped on Gardevoir, dumped on Lycanroc, and Luxray all in one.
Honestly, this is really, really cool. He has himself a regular Cantonian Zapdos team right here. That is actually fire. I cannot wait to go up against it. He also has Dragonite, Clefairy, Scissor, Lapras, and Landorus over here. Um, do I bring Skeptile again? I might not go Unburdened Skeptile here. I might want to roll a Tailwind because he is pretty fast Pokemon here. I could just roll Unburdened again, but at the same time, it's kind of scary. He has that Ice Lapras over here. Uh, Landorus, we can dump on. He has a Flying Moves with the, uh, the Dragonite and the... And the Zapdos, which is kind of scary. I think I might go Incineroar for that attack drop right off the rip. He has Intimidate as well. I might go with the Tailwind. I think we're going to go here. Incineroar. Yuxa Tree with the Tree Specs. And then maybe go Skeptile in the back. Do I want Skeptile back here? We have the attack, and that does work against Lapras. It's it's like a it's like a, a plus and a minus. Because like Zapdos and Dragonite does work against Skeptile. But Skeptile does work up against the Landris and the Lapras. So I think I am going to bring him as our final pick. We do have Yuxa Tree over here. But the only thing that seems about these flying Pokemon is they resist electric with the Dragon Typing and the Electric Typing. Like, what do you mean? Like, they're both flying typing that, that can eat up electric shots. So Yuxa Tree should be able to do some work on them. But since they're secondary typing helps them out, I don't think we're going to be able to just dump on them one shot. But he should still be able to do some work here. Zapdos and Clefairy coming out here. Um, okay, so I guess he's just gonna try to keep him alive. We're gonna go Incineroar and Wim Scott. Set up Tailwind. We might actually just party shot out here. Uh, that thing is he physical attack? He has drill pack. Pressure's coming out. Okay, that's fine. Intimidate. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Uh, could fake out. Which I think I am gonna do. Fake out and set up a Tailwind. Or I could just taunt. I could set up a trick room. I think I just taunt you. Turn one. We have Prankster. And we have that, uh... Do I snarl? Is this thing like physical attacking? Or another uh, parting shot off on that. Actually, we'll fake out first. We'll fake out first. This thing might actually Dynamax. I wouldn't be surprised. It's not gonna Dynamax. Cool. Bang. Hit that. And then we're actually going to. This thing's gonna start following me. That's totally fine. We're gonna be able to taunt this thing up and then uh, have that thing flinched all day. We sitting good. Alright, we sitting good right now. Taunting up, baby. Now I am going to actually parting shot out. So you get out of my face. And drop the things, attack and all that stuff. Set up a tailwind and get thriving. That thing has to hit now. Let's party shot out. Say see you later. And get out of Pokemans. Get out of Pokemans. Oh, we thrive. Oh, we thrive. A nice little smart play by Jeans. Getting off that taunt on that Clefairy. You can't really do much. Some of them don't even roll attack and move. So hopefully this one's not. And he has to struggle or either swap out. He's going to withdraw his after this. That's totally fine by me. And he's going to bring out Dragonite. And we're going to get a party shot on a Dragonite. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Tailwind's popping here. And then here comes my little bit of a uh, party shot. Yeah. Get that attack drop. And now I can bring out whoever I want. I can bring out whoever I want. I think we're going to bring out a uh, Yuki Tree. We're going to that choice scarf. Or choice specs here. At the play? Is that the play? I could go Skeptile. We do have Dragon Pulse. We do have Dragon Pulse, but I think Yuki Tree, uh, choice specs, and Yuki Tree right here is a better play. And we can double into that, uh, that Dragonite. And just drop a T-Bolt. This arming voice. Okay, so this thing is rocking moves. Is rocking moves. Come on, look, look. Okay. Have a Moon Blast. And we'll double up in the year slot. And do I T-Bolt? Or do I Voltage? No, we're going to T-Bolt. I'd rather, I'd rather choice spec into a T-Bolt here. Do some damage over here. I do not see him Dynamaxing. He's minus one, so... I really don't see it happening. If you do, that's that's fine by me. You can waste your Dynamax with that. And then I'll get my Intimidate drop back out here. Because I think this thing is going to be multi-scaled instead of Inner Focus. Wait, if it was Inner Focus, then we couldn't have dropped its stat. So, I don't think it's Inner Focus. I should I should have just swapped back in my Incineroar. You know, withdraw. Okay, that's totally fine. He's going to bring out Zapdos again. No, Scizor coming out here. Okay, so now we know his whole team. He has Zapdos, Dragonite, Scizor, and Clefairy right here. Moonblast coming through. That's going to be easy eats for him. I think he's just playing this one slow, and we're just going to keep dealing uh, damage all around. He's going to have to drop another Disarming Voice, and eventually we'll taunt this thing up again. Nice damage. Take that thing out. Oh my lord. So close. Disarming Voice coming. Uh, we'll just drop a Moon Blast, take out Scissor with that, and then drop a uh, T-Bolt over on the left side. Oh, we thriving. We thriving, thriving. We are thriving, thriving. Playing this one well with the swaps and all that good stuff. He's going to have to keep in. He's going to go for a Bullet Punch. That's totally fine by me. We'll eat that up. Oh, we do not eat that out. Ooh, E. E. I thought we eat that out. Technician ability definitely helped that one out. Thunderbolt comes out here. 
And we do not take out the scissor this round. Oh my god, dude. This thing is teeing off for no reason. He's teeing off for no reason. He just doesn't care. Yuki Tree just doesn't care. Um, I really don't want to get out. I'm going to get out Skeptile here. I'm going to get out Skeptile here. And do I just detect? I think I detect this turn and take out the scissor. And wait for next turn. Hmm. I think I have to play. Detect here. I don't want to get bullet punched, and I want to take out the scissor here. Actually, I want to take out, like, the Clefairy at the same time. We're going to drop you. We're going to drop you here. Helping hand comes out. Go ahead. Go after my Skeptile, please. Go after my Skeptile, please, because we're detecting the shot. Go after my Skeptile, please. Go ahead. Bullet punch my Skeptile. Bullet punch my Skeptile. Let's get it. Nice little read there. And we're going to be, be able to get rid of this uh, scissor as, like, a free turn. He got nothing. We got the KO. Beautiful little protect by me there. Okay. So here's the problem. Here's the problem. Beast Boost coming out, though. Ooh. Ooh. Tailwind Peter now. Okay. So I'm going to say they got speed advantage. I say I swap Skeptile here. And I bring out my Intimidate Mon. Yeah, he's bringing out Dragonite. I got to Intimidate this thing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap you. I'm going to get my Detect back. I'm going to get this out here. We got Fake Out next turn. You might Dynamax, and I'm just going to... Do I T-Bolt Clefairy, or do I T-Bolt Dragonite? It's going to be T-Bolt Dragonite, to be honest. If he goes follow me, that's totally fine. I think he shook off Tawn already. Yeah, he did, because he helped in hand last turn. I'm going to swap, get an instant order, save my Skeptile for the back. And we got ourselves a good match right here. Timonade dropping that attack. That's huge. That is huge. That might keep us alive. Please don't Dynamax here. Please don't Dynamax here. He's gonna Dynamax again. So he's Dynamax here. I think he's gonna go after my Skeptile with a with a Max Airstream. I think that's the play. Hopefully we can get a paralyzed with this T-Bolt. We are plus one. If he was smart, he go there for my Yuki tree. And I'll be able to fake out the Clefairy and take it out next turn. Just like that. But I can see him going for a follow me. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's see. He's gonna follow me. Clefairy's just gonna protect. Fine, that's a waste of a turn. A waste of a turn, my dude. I was going after you. Airstream, go after my Incineroar. Gotta be going after a slot. Yep. Incineroar eats up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um. Okay. Do I have parting shot next turn? What do I do next turn? Incineroar is just here to kind of just like pester around. T-Ball comes out. Not bad damage. Give me the Paralyze. Give it to me. No Paralyze. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Good fake out and take out the Clefairy. No problem here. Where do I have parting shot? I'm going to fake out and just take out the Clefairy. Let's get out of my face. And I'm a T-Bolt up on this Dragonite again. Start doing some more work. More damage. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Fake out. Bop. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Just don't take it out. We don't take it out with that. Bro, what you mean? I mean, that thing's geysering. I think we might be able to eat up this geyser. I don't know. It's going to be close. We do not. We do not. Okay, that's totally fine. Make sure he's going to get off another T-Bolt. Uh, I'm going to Dynamax again. Max Guard this next turn. For my Skeptile. This one's going to be super, super close. Like, super, super close. T-Ball coming out here. Give me the Paralyze. Yo, that's a crit. That's a crit. That wasn't even a crit. That wasn't even a crit. Why did that do so much more damage? Let's get out Skeptile here. We got to block this shot and take out the Dragonite. Skeptile out here. I'm definitely guarding. There's no way you're reading that guard. No way you're reading the guard. Yo, we're playing this one so well. If he reads this guard, mm, lord. If he hits this in a guard, we have a we have a pretty solid chance of winning this game. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What you want, fool? What you want? <laughs> that intimidate drop was absolutely huge. I think he's thinking about it. I think he's thinking about reading this guard. And if he does, that's that's a big play by him. Huge, huge play by him. This Clefairy is legit surviving on one. I need to get rid of one of these Pokemon now and then have my Dynamax to roll out later. But Yuki Tree's hitting like an absolute truck here. And if he's able to pick up a KO here, that's Beast Boost plus two. And then you can just T-Bolt out and kind of win us this game. He's already plus one on special attack. Oh, I know why the first one didn't do that much damage. It's because of the multi-skill ability. I forgot about that. That's why the second shot from Yuki Tree did so much damage. Helping Hand's coming out here. Go after my Skeptile. Go after my Skeptile, please. Go after my Skeptile, please. Show me an airstream going that way. He worm wins on my Yuki Tree, you biscuit. You smart cookie. You smart cookie. He read me so hard there. And that might just be the game. That might just be the game. That might just be the game. 
I still think we have a shot here. Dang, dude, I should have went for an attack. I should have went for an attack. I seriously thought he was going to go after it with the airstream. Um, I'm just going to overgrowth set my terrain. I think this thing's going to fly. So I am going to go overgrowth on this side. Just take out the Clefairy. I might go for follow me anyway. I really do think it's going to fly. I don't think this game's over just yet. Is this thing flying? It's going to helping hand and then what? Give it air slash? Like, what are you rolling with? You could trigger my weakness policy and unburden. He's going to outrage me. Okay. I think I had to guard next turn and have this thing confused. I think that's my only way. Dang, dude. Dang it, man. That was such a good battle, too. That was such a good battle. I think he has it after his. Actually, we should be able to eat up one more outrage. So I think my way of winning this battle is going to be hitting hard on the Zapdos right now. And then hoping this thing confuses next turn. And hits itself and then rolls from the and then we roll from there. Right? Would that be the play? Zapdos pressure is gonna come out here. The exerting pressure. I think I just warm one. Like I said, we should be able to eat up an outrage all day. See what happens. Outrage. We should be able to eat this up. No helping hand. That's fine. We have to outspeed this thing. Yeah, there's the ducks. We have to, like, take this thing out or something. I don't think we're going to take it out. Nope. Hurricane comes out in the rain. And that's GG. Man, dude, that was actually such a close battle. If we would have took out the Dragonite last turn, I feel like we still would have had a chance there. But now, noticing that that thing has Hurricane, he's going to pick up the win regardless. But 1-1 one one so far. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a winning record. I'm loving these new Pokemon right here. This guy has an awesome team of Wounsicott, Kartana, Galarian Zapdos, Naga Nidel, Metagross, and our fellow Hoenn starter Swampert over here. So we got a little Hoenn starter team battle over here. Um, who should I go? He has that one Scott. He might start off by going with the tail when he has Naga Nidel over there. He also has that Metagross, maybe Assault Vest or Weakness Policy. Could be either or. Um, hmm. Who should I go? Naga Nidel could be choice as well. Artana could be choice as well, too. Zapdos might be the Life Orb Pokemon of the team. We don't have a Life Orb Pokemon on this team, which is totally fine. I, I'm liking this team so far. Uh, I kind of want to lead the Intimidate drop. Oh, uh, no, he has Defiant. He has Defiant, so I got to watch for that. He has Defiant Zapdos. Totally got to watch out for that. Um, hmm. Yuxi Tree is definitely going to come in here. I'm going to like Yuxi Tree here, but I got to watch out for the Swamp Bit. I'm definitely gonna bring in my Skeptile. Do we get our mana? Do we go with that lead again? And trigger Unburden and roll from there. There we go, Darmanitan, Skeptile, Yuxia Tree. I really want to bring Incineroar. I'm really feeling Incineroar here. Let's bring Incineroar. And uh, as a back end mod, so we have that fake out and that uh that fire those fire moves up against that uh, that Cartana right there. Because I, I don't feel like dealing with it. I don't feel like dealing with that Cartana. Once a fire move hits it, it's four times we can see this grass and steel type. We're just going to dump on that thing left and right. But the one thing I got to watch out for, like I said in the beginning of this battle, is going to be that Defiant Zapdos and not getting an Intimidate hit on that thing. Because then it just goes up plus one, and then he's thriving off from there. But he's going to lead that Zapdos thinking I am leading the uh, Incineroar, which I am not. Which I am not. That is not my style. Oh, this is kind of scary. This thing, isn't this thing part flying? I, might, hmm, I can't really swap here. I think I'm going to detect this turn. I think I'm just going to Icicle Crash. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for this Icicle Crash, and I'm going to detect. I'm not even going to go for my uh, Unburdened stuff. I think it's probably going to set up a Tailwind, which is totally fine. But I don't want that thing just dumping all my, uh, my uh, what's it called? My Skeptile. Skeptile is a huge part of my team right here. I'd rather get that thing out the way. Let's see. Drill Peck, so Raper comes through. Oh, my Darmanitan slot? Wow. Wow, there. Anyway, I'll sped my Darman. Oh, Tailwind. Okay. That, that, that's fine. Um, do I? No, I don't want to Defiant Boost. Then he's going to Dynamax. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's fine. This thing is just teeing off on me. Right off the rip. He does, he does take some mean recoil damage there. But I feel like I have to go for... I go for an Electro Web. Double hits, lower speed stats. I'll just uh, T-Bolt up like that. And then, uh... Maybe just drop a Giga Drain. Because I know he's going to hit me. He's going to hit me hard. I might swap now. I wish I had Protect this turn. Now nah, we're going to have to stay in here. I'm going to double up in the Zapdos. 
Who's faster? You should sure you might be faster. Let me see who's faster. That will actually make a big difference. Street is not faster. Okay, so I am actually gonna put this into the. Uh, I'll put this in the women's cut slot. Yuki Street is definitely gonna take out the uh, Daptos. No problem whatsoever. Moonblast coming through over on Skeppy Poo. And Skeptile is gonna go down here. I know that for a fact. Here comes a Brave Bird going over in Skeptile. Don't go over Yuki Tree. Or actually go over to Yuki Tree. Yeah, Skeptile's gone. Jeez, man. Jeez! Things teeing off right now. They're teeing off on me. Leave me alone. Um, This could actually be good for us. Hold up. Hold up. We take this thing out. We get Beast Boost. And now we get out our Intimidate Pokemon? Hold up. Hold up. We could be thriving here. We could see a clean little uh, comeback here from Yuxitree with the plus one special attack. And I still have my Dynamax. He's going to get out Swamper. Oh, oh, we do have a Grass Coverage move. We do have a Grass Coverage move all day. All day we have a Grass Coverage move. Intimidate, dropping. And that thing is basically physical attacking. So that is huge. Uh, fake out Whimsicott. Or... No, we're going straight into this Dynamax Max Over Growth. And we're going to fake out on a Swamper. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax. But if he does, that's totally fine. I do not see him Dynamaxing. He's going to withdraw Swamper. He's going to withdraw Swamper. And we're Dynamaxing. And we're going to take off this shot on this, to this Metagross slot. Yeah, you better back off, fool. You better back off. He's trying to waste out my Dynamax turns. He's trying to waste him out. Smart play by him for the swap. But I think he knows we're choice. So I have to take out that Swampert with my uh, with my Yuxi Tree before my Dynamax turns go out. Which is going to be rather hard. Rather, rather hard. Because we cannot hit that thing because it's part of the Or my Incineroar's got to do it with Flare Blitz somehow. I think this one is over. Wimscott is going to protect. That's totally fine. We're double one through one. The other slot over here. Big out coming out here. I'm doing teensy bit of damage. And then here comes the Overgrowth. Um, the real question is, do I drop a lightning over onto the Metagross slot? That's still doing a lot of damage. That is still doing a lot of damage here. Which I really like. We get a crit. That is huge for us. I'm just going to drop another max overgrowth over on Metagross slot. And then this thing's going to max it, dude. I think this game's over. Unless this thing doesn't have a, uh... Unless this thing doesn't have, uh... Protect. Uh, I'm doubling through on the Metagross slot. I'm going to double through on the Metagross slot. I think that's a safe play to do. He's going to withdraw Wimscott. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. He's going to bring out Swamper now. He's bringing out Swampert. EQ's coming out here. He's going to do a little bit of damage. Just teensy bit. And Overgrowth sliding over here. And hopefully we get this burn onto this uh, Swampert here. Because this should be able to KO here, right? Yeah, okay. KO there. We got Beast Boost rolling. Beast Boost is rolling. Uh, the real question is, I gotta throw a Max Overgrowth over onto the Swamper slot, and hopefully it's not rolling Protect. That's the one thing I gotta hope for, because we are plus two on the board right now. Blair Blitz coming out here. I cannot, I cannot hit it after this this turn. But that's not bad damage, to be honest. That is not bad damage right there. Wimps Scott's gonna come back out here. This is rather scary. This is rather scary here. This one's gonna be super, super close. I gotta keep uh, going after this, uh, this what's called over here, this Swampert. I'm gonna say maybe this thing protects. If it doesn't protect, we're doing a lot of damage. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it with this Overgrowth. So I'm gonna Overgrowth over on this slot, and then I'm gonna just drop a Flare Blitz over onto this, this slot right here. I think that's a smart play, dude. Do not protect. I, like, if this thing doesn't protect, it's GG, Yuke's Tree coming up clutch and owning this battle. But if he does, then it's going to be super, 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 super close. Because it's going to come down to my Incineroar versus this Swamper. Let's see what it, let's see what it does. Please do not guard. Please do not guard. He's got to guard, right? He's got to guard when we set this turn. Don't guard. Don't do it. He's tailwinding. He's tailwinding. Hold up. He's not guarding. He's going for the Quake. That might, that, that thing is going to take me out. I think that works either way. You should eat up, buddy. Mmm, mmm, bruh, no, 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 are you kidding me? Almost with the comeback here, almost had, I thought we were going to clutch it up, I thought we were going to clutch it up, but the quake works just as well if he takes out my Street or guards, that was just a two options there, and he goes with the tailwind, setter, whatever, what's popping off here, can this KO, I don't think it will, I think it's Sash, oh, it's not Sash, it's not Sash, 
It is not Sash, and this one's 100% over. He's just gonna water move me, take me out, and that's GG in a can. Yo, Swampert reigning superior in this battle right here, but yo, all three of the battles say were very, very good. The first battle, we got to show off that unburdened weakness policy. Skeptile's second battle was very, very well played by me and the opposing uh, opponent. We both swapped out, made some good plays, and the third battle, same thing here. Awesome team right here. Shout out to my boy Andrew one more time for making this team. I really did like it. Even though we got a losing record, we went one and two. Those two battles that we did end up losing, I felt it could have went either way and we played super, super well. That Skeptile was very, very strong once you got that unburden and weakness policy trigger. And the Yuki's Tree is an absolute beast with that true respect and that beast boost ability. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.